And so settling into your body, paying gentle attention to your breath, feeling it moving in and out without trying to change or distort the natural rhythm. Just being gently aware, appreciative and loving towards the breath that animates you. This breath that originates not within the centers of your brain, but from the eternal now, from the all that is, from the source. This is the energy that breathes this body. And you may want to feel the awe and wonder of that. Placing your gentle, loving awareness on yourself and on your being. Practicing reverence and appreciation for your very self. This beautiful manifestation of a soul on the earth. And each day challenges arise, be they from the outside or from the inside. But by now you may understand that truly all challenges are arising from the inside as much as they may look like they are coming from other people, circumstances, and situations. Everything truly is self-generated. And the more you can understand that, the more you can embrace what you have set up for yourself. For the more challenging it is, the more vigorous and ready you were for the challenge. And know that all challenges are supported that to the extent that you can reach for that external support, and by that we mean from your soul, or what some might call your greater consciousness, or even non-physical or what you term divine sources of support. You can call on that. And so for today, we are going to address what it is to have a very full buffet in front of you, but to know that if you put too much on your plate, you will end the meal, or in this metaphor, the day feeling overly full, uncomfortable and not ready to rest and release. And so, this meditation is designed to guide you through the choices that you might be making as you set forth on your day, and how perhaps best to go about setting up the most gorgeous, luminous, exciting and fruitful day And so we will continue with this analogy, taking one by one your options and choices and weighing them from those internal indicators or gauges, for you all have this within you. And again, if you're used to calling on support, you can ask for that now as you navigate through your choices. And if it is helpful, you may want to have pen and paper to make notations as you move through. And you can pause the meditation and make any notes that would be helpful to you. 
lest you have so many choices that you get lost between all the finer textures and differences that you will find. And so imagine you're starting at the beginning of the buffet and that is one of your choices. Perhaps this is a choice that you thought you would execute in the morning, say something that habitually you do in the morning. And so look at it and feel within as you breathe. This time deepening the breath, inviting more oxygen in. Filling your lungs to the very top, expanding the lungs out to the side, to the back, 360 degrees. Now imagine this first item on your mental to-do list. What is its texture? What is the feeling tone you get when you consider it? And how much light does it carry for you? If you could imagine a scale of light, and right now you're holding your light meter to this, to-do list item where is it on a scale of 1 to 10 10 being the most light and 1 being the least let go of any preconceptions please and just allow this item to have its movement its textures and its colors And you can decide whether you want to put that on your plate or not. You have your tray in front of you. And just in your imagination, either pass this by or take it with gratitude and appreciation and put it on your tray. And now we would like you to step forward and we invite you to consider another option on your to-do list. And following the same criteria, sense it as textures, colors, light, movement. So feel it as if you could feel it with a deep sensory system that your body has. So you may even want to imagine bringing it into your physical body or your energetic body, but what we're trying to do right now is bypass the thinking mechanism because that will only get you so far as you know if you've ever had spinning thoughts or circular thoughts or confusion bewilderment that is the limitation of your magnificent brain thinking but there's thinking that can go on within the body a discernment that is profound that you have experienced and used many times before even without consciously knowing it. And now we are making this process much more conscious for you.
you may be able to sense as you spend time energetically with this item will it enhance your energy or will it decrease your energy and you may also enjoy using that gauge that light gauge from 1 to 10 leaving the intellectual discussion aside for the moment but just noticing how it feels to interact with this item, event, or to-do on this purely vibrational, energetic level. And now you will decide, are you putting this on your tray or not for today, you will know if it feels right. We also want you to imagine yourself in this moment at the end of the day. You pause at sundown and perhaps with a refreshing beverage, if you can look at the sunset or put your feet up or lie down. You're taking this pause and you are feeling today and feeling your gratitude and appreciation for what you got to do, who you got to interact with, and you feel more light filled, you feel energized even if tired. You feel your appreciation for your day and the gifts you have been given and the gifts you have bestowed upon others which have energized you and you take this time to pause and appreciate and you feel the openness and spaciousness in your schedule you feel the joy and ease you feel trust and surrender what didn't get done didn't get done and you know it's time is in the future but today you focused exactly where you needed to be and you feel so much wonder and joy and appreciation and so for the second item on your to-do let us come back to that and now is the time to decide, would you like to put it on your buffet tray or no? And trust if you put it back that it will come back in the proper time, in the proper place. So really surrender, let go, release, surround yourself with light and know that you truly can let it go and surrender. For that ease and flow you want to feel in your life. Now we will move a bit more quickly through this process now that you have an understanding and you know what tools are best. And as you learn this technique, you may be able to do it all on your own without a meditation. Just quickly examining from that purely vibrational standpoint the value and the rightness of any given activity in your day today. So the next item.
and you may just be able to hold it up as if you could bring it into your energy field and just intuitively sense, is this right? Is this for me? Just as you are quickly able to do this with your food choices because you've done it many times before, you can make a quick selection, is this for me today or not? Will it enhance my light? Will it energize me? Or does it need to be saved for another day? Or do you want to put it to the side on a certain zone of your tray that's a maybe? Because it's nice to have room in your schedule for the unexpected. And we've all been blindsided by sudden urgent activities or situations that we need to tend to. So if we leave space, we can still have that spacious feeling at the end of our day, that feeling of accomplishment, that feeling of peace, wonder, and appreciation. So it's okay to put it on the side of your tray knowing what your higher priorities are and keep those to another side. But at the end of this process, we will prioritize again. So don't worry. If you're not sure, you can put it there. And you can put it back at the end of the line and just say, no, I've realized this is too big a, too big a tray <laughs> to check out with. And you may want to consider some tasks that you think you must do every day or ideally you would do every day and consider those with fresh eyes and fresh senses. So if there's a group of those tasks or one of those tasks that you want to look at with fresh eyes, examine it now using the tools we have given you. Allowing yourself to receive whatever intuition or senses you are getting as you consider this. And then the next item. Again, you can decide to put put it as a tentative item on your tray or a definite item on your tray, sorting them into two sections. And the next item.
And another question you may choose to ask, is this task or activity connecting me upward? Is it connecting me with my soul's essence? Or some kind of greater expression or purpose that is essential to me? Are there any ongoing tasks in this buffet that by doing it a little bit at a time, by attending to little by little, it is in better flow than waiting until you have a big pile of it? Just tune in and use that light gauge. Or maybe even sense a time frame, be it 15 minutes, an hour, of what is an appropriate time frame to devote to this task. Many times the tasks which seem the least appealing, the ones with which we procrastinate most, are simply ones that we want to include just a small amount of and chip away at them little by little rather than trying to swallow a whole dose all at once which may leave us feeling uncomfortable and disconnected because perhaps they are not the tasks that come easily to us but may create a sense of calm, flow, and harmony by attending to them regularly. And if we don't attend to them, they might back up or throw everything off. Now each person will have their own way of navigating life, its projects, tasks, chores, and responsibilities. The idea is to find your ideal flow, knowing that your perfect day will look very different from your best friend's, or not, but that we each have our own unique flow, and that when we can trust this flow and surrender things For instance, perhaps someone needs your help in the moment, but you had planned something else in that moment. But truly, deeply, you know, your task in that moment is to help this person to be able to surrender and trust that everything will work out for what you have set aside, that all is well. 
And at other times it's important to know when to set the boundary. When someone asks for your help and it is not in your highest flow to drop everything, to be able to trust that they will get the help they need and envision that for them. Let them connect with their own agency to create what they need to magnetize, to allow, to manifest what they need, even if you are not the conduit. When we each cultivate the trust that there is a higher power looking out for us and supporting us in every single moment and that we are not responsible for everyone else and their problems and projects. That we empower them when we help them attract their solutions. And now one last moment of silence for you to examine any other priorities that you are confused about, that you are not sure whether they should be on your tray for today. We will remain silent and let you use whatever tools, imagining the light in them, the texture, the flow, or whatever intuitive guidance comes to you. And this would be an opportune moment as well to consider, are there any tasks that you feel you absolutely must take on that perhaps could be delegated to someone else? Are there any tasks that you could add in that would add more light to the world without overcrowding your tray? Now we have come to the end of the buffet line and you can survey your tray. Imagine it is full of things that will delight and nourish you. Things that will energize you. And you can assess right now if there's something in the high priority side of the tray that you want to move to the lower priority or vice versa, or if you're happy with where things stand. Now perhaps you want to take your tray, 
and find a beautiful seat by a large window or even outdoors. Perhaps you feel a breeze on your face or the sun is shining and you feel appreciation for this day, eagerness. and excitement, enthusiasm for who you get to help, what you get to do, and the gift for being alive one more day. To experience all the joys your life has to offer you, all that you came from, all that you came for, and allowing your breath to expand you again. As you gently move, maybe wiggle fingers and toes. Open eyes with that soft peripheral gaze ready to start the day ahead with clarity and purpose.